Today's sunshine note is titled, Feeling Forsaken. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you deserted me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you left me alone? No matter what paraphrase or version you read, Jesus' words as he was dying on the cross are painful to read. It is heartbreaking to think that Jesus actually felt that God his Father had forsaken him. He believed that he was left alone to die. Think how terrifying that must have been for him. But didn't Jesus know better, you might ask? He did, but at that moment on the cross while he was dying for our sins, he actually felt the separation, the deep hole that sin puts between God and us. In all of his 33 years of life on this earth, Jesus had never sinned. He resisted every single temptation that came his way. But now on the cross, he took your sins and mine on himself, the sins of the whole world, past, present, and future, and that feeling was one of darkness, of being forsaken. I have talked to a lot of kids your age who have felt forsaken. They have their own question that they cry out to God. Why did you let my pet die? Why did you let my family move? Why did I have to be born with a learning disability? Why did you let my grandma get cancer? Why did you let my dad kill himself? Why do you let terrorism happen? When you feel forsaken, remember that you are no more forsaken than Jesus was. God was with him and God is with you. Take a look at God's track record all throughout the Bible. He doesn't forsake his children, he rescues them. Jesus had to wait to be rescued and you may have to wait too. But it will happen and it will all be worth it. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, verse 46. May God bless you today.